Vivi, would you consider me hot? Am I a hot man? You're pretty cute. Am I your ideal type? No. <laughs> Wait, what? I was about to say, you're looking real hot, real fine today, real, real pretty. That's pretty offensive. And I actually thought this is kind of funny because Vivi and I split our subscribers down the middle. And I'm only talking about the ones that, uh, you know, like to give very, very staunch opinions. And what I've noticed is that the Chinese people, what they'll do, right, is they'll say, why is this ugly pig mouth girl with this really handsome foreigner, right? Yeah, and then the Western guys will say, this girl's taste is awful. Like he's definitely <laughs> batting way above his average. You know, she's way too pretty for him. So. I actually wanted to talk about why those standards of beauty were so different. So today we're actually going to answer the question, if you came to China, would you be considered attractive? I'm basically going to leave it up to the people watching the video to kind of figure out if they would be considered attractive based on these facts, right? And I'm going to use America, and I hate to be this America-centric douche that always uses my country to compare, but it's the easiest one to compare to because most of the studies were done in my country, right? The ideal height of an American woman is 167 centimeters or about five foot six, right? Mm -hmm. What about in China? 160 cm. 160 centimeters, was that about five foot two? Yeah. Okay, what are you? Uh, 159. Okay, <laughs> the ideal weight for a woman in America, the ideal weight is 140 pounds. So that's, what is that, about 60 kilograms or so? What yeah. about in, uh, what about in China? Uh, the ideal yeah. will be 48. Like the most attractive to men is basically what we're saying, right? 48, right? 48. 48, 48 kilograms for a woman, so that's about 105 pounds. What are you? Um, 50. <laughs> so you're about 110 pounds. Yeah. So you're five pounds over the ideal weight. But actually, you're, you're only an inch and about five pounds off of the ideal. For a mom, I think you're doing pretty well. I think you're very attractive. And um. for the American standard, you're actually way too short. And you are way too thin. So, uh, for the male standard, the, the most attractive um, height for a man in America is 180 centimeters or 5 foot 11. What about in uh, China? Uh, will be 178 cm. Oh, it's almost the same. So 5 foot 10. That's actually quite tall for a Chinese guy, to be honest. No, nowadays they're totally, um, nowadays they're taller. Right, because we're not actually talking about what it is in real life. We're talking about the ideal. What's the most yeah. attractive for a woman? And they said, like, there's a phrase, if any man like shorter than 175, they literally, it's like, like not normal. That's oh, some, wow. like really mean girl, like right, like a lot of girls were saying like, you don't even want to look at them. Right. So that's they're actually, mean. That's, they're a, mean. that's actually quite funny though, because the average height in China, I think is 171 for a man. So it's like, they're actually just ridiculously out of proportion. The ideal weight for an American man, like so women chose the most attractive weight for a man, mm -hmm. and obviously it's gonna be a five foot 11 man, right? Mm -hmm. Is 187 pounds. Uh, so what that brings me to is I am in America, mm -hmm. I am too thin because I'm 182 pounds, mm -hmm. which is weird because I don't think I'm thin, and I'm too tall by two inches because I'm six foot one. What about in China? What's the ideal weight for a man? The ideal will be like 65 kg. So it's about 143 pounds. Wow, I would be obese in China. I think it's too thin. Now, we, we're we going to talk about that later because I was quite surprised about this. Now, what we're actually going to go into now is the five most important things about men and women, the most attractive mm -hmm. features. And this is how you're really going to figure out if you're attractive here. Now, the number five for, a, for an American man, if he's looking at a woman, mm -hmm. the most important thing is actually the breasts, right? So a lot of people would think that would be number one. Mm -hmm. So it's the least important. However, on this list, it's definitely important. It was a significant chunk of men chose this as the most important. And about the breasts, it's not uh, a specific shape or anything it was mostly focused on the size so the most attractive size was a C cup or a D cup right what about a Chinese man like what what's the number five most important thing in a woman according to the study they said like the number five uh, most attractive part of woman it's their neck their neck the neck part like from ear to like the bone I, I, I'm assuming you're talking about the collarbone yeah, as well. the collarbone. Uh, number four for an American man looking for a woman uh, would be the legs, right? And there was actually no real information about what is important about them other than the fact that they should be kind of curvy. They should have some curves, right? What about a Chinese man? Chinese man thinking about a uh, woman mm -hmm. is their lips. Their lips? Interesting. What's, mm -hmm. What should they look like? Need to be really red mm -hmm. and need to be small like cherry. 
Like at, when they purse their lips? But I have a cherry lip. I'm so... <laughs> you're the polar opposite. You know what's funny is your lips in America would be considered attractive because they're full and luscious, right? Yeah, there's like a lot of phrases in Chinese about how they need like really, really thin lips. I remember uh, when I was a kid, some of the boys make fun of my lips. It's called Zhu Chang Zhui. Why? It's like a pig. Pig, in, pig intestine lips? Yeah. Pig intestine mouth? <laughs> it's not very far from what people were saying in the comment section, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Number three for an American man uh, looking for a woman would be uh, the ass. And it was specified that they're looking for a large ass. It should be a large ass. I'm not talking about ridiculously large, but pretty large. Mm. That's really important. What about for number three for a Chinese man? Really ironic, it's also ass. That's the same. But the problem is their standard is a bit different. Like what? They need like really firm, round, and like not tiny, but it just need to be like tight. It's good by American standards. The ideal ass here would be very small, very, very small. <laughs> it just can't be flat. It's just got to be like a ha little handful, basically, right? <laughs> the number two most important thing for an American man would be uh, hair. And actually, what they found was the most attractive hair across the board, hands down, was either black or brown and wavy. That was the most attractive hair for pretty much everyone that answered it. And like, the weird thing is, is that it was like that in a lot of countries around the world. That's always the most attractive hair, hair color and hairstyle. What about for Chinese men number so two? So for Chinese men number two will be legs. Legs. What do they look like? They need to be white and okay. straight and long. White, straight and long. Mm -hmm. So don't have bow legs, don't be fat. Don't paint your legs black. <laughs> you know Asian prefer white. I know, you know? I understand. Uh, number one, the most important thing for an American man looking for a woman, the ideal body part and its standard would be actually the face, but that's too general. So looking clo more closely at this, the most important thing across the board is a smile. So a man looking at a woman's smile kind of brings a whole package together and that, according to 43% of men, is the most important part. Mm. Uh, what about number one for, for Chinese men? It's not a surprise at all. It's their breasts. <laughs> their Chinese guys are absolutely obsessed with breasts. Like way more so than any country I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> and what, what should they be like? Probably it's like the bigger the better. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> One thing I noticed is actually like short skirts. Obviously legs are sexualized here, but much less so than boobs. So it's like way more offensive to show your cleavage like an American woman might, right? That's like the sluttiest thing you can do in China. And then to show your legs and have a really short skirt or your butt, even your butt cheeks in a way is much less sexualized in China. Yes, but like it's, it's number two. Number two. Now the the real thing is obviously we just catered to forty three percent of my audience, which is female now. <laughs> uh, now let's talk about men, right? Would you be attractive if you were a man here? The number five most important thing for a man, you know, his features for a woman in America, is uh, the V cut, and that's basically when your, you know, your shoulders are wide and then it goes down into a taper, so your abs and waist are small, right? Something I definitely have for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's there. It's just waiting to come out. You know, ah, just working okay. on that. I'll get to I'll get to it later. So number five, really weird. Uh, it's chest hair. Chest hair. That is kind of weird because chest hair is so rare here in China. Ew! When you swimming and you I'm don't glad you see those like flowing seaweed. Kind. Yeah, exactly. And the, you're really lucky that you don't like it and you disagree with the I Chinese really standard like because it. I have barely any chest hair. That's good. I'm barely a man. <laughs> On that part, you're my type. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so number four for an American woman, what she's looking for in a man is the abs. Another thing that I definitely have. Um, very well known for my abs, to be honest. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You have absolutely no. What the hell? Uh, what about number four for a Chinese? You got. <laughs> what about Chinese woman number four? Will be wild shoulders. Wild. Shoulder. Wild shoulders. Damn. Wide Those shoulders are shoulder. wild. Wide shoulders. I got you, Seal. Like a manly wide like, shoulder. They can protect you. Gotcha. Number three for an American woman looking for a dude. Gotta have big arms. Nice, big, strong, long arms. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, probably another protection thing, right? Mm. What about me? Yeah, oh yeah, okay. I'm okay, thanks. Okay. Number three for a Chinese woman, surprisingly, is nose. And the, it's like the most uh, voted uh, like facial features. Oh, okay. 
So what nose. is a nose? Like, okay, I have a nose, but what makes big, a good nose? Tall. Yeah, I noticed that actually when I first came here, my nose is way too big in America, but the bigger the better in China and the sharper the better. Flat is bad, tall, thin, nice big nose. That's hot, that's hot here. The most second most important thing is his hair. And exactly the same as the woman, dark hair, like uh, what's it called, black or brown hair and a little bit wavy and short is the most attractive hairstyle. So number two will be body shape. Your body shape. Mm -hmm. I can actually help you out there. Thinner the better here. I mean, mm -hmm. a little bit of muscle, athletic look is very important here in China, but more importantly, don't be fat. Like fat guys are not considered attractive here. Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm again, it's less important for men, much less important for men, but mm -hmm. by and large, skinnier is better. Like the ideal weight we said is 143 pounds. So it's kind of, it can be kind of uh, worrying for guys like me that, you know, are about 180. No, but you it's guys pretty, are pretty shit. <laughs> Fair enough. The number one most important thing for an American woman in a man is actually his chest, a well-defined and strong chest. And I think that does kind of fit into the whole, like take care of the woman thing, a manly, a manly aspect. What about for number one for a Chinese woman? What are they, what is the number one hottest thing about a dude? Height. Height. Absolutely height. And uh, two of my friends, because of the height, marry down with like a bunch of boys that way younger than them. Yeah, like your friends, they were about 10 years younger than them because they were tall. Mm. Because people they're in your generation. They're not even good looking. Right. Because people, that's because people in your generation, the boys typically aren't very tall. Yeah, true. But the new, the, the new boys, the younger boys, typically are quite a bit taller. And that's yeah. definitely the most important thing. Basically, we can sum it up. For a guy, you're coming to China, if you're tall, you're thin, Strong. you have a nice nose, you have dark hair, uh, because that, uh, yeah, that was also... <laughs> <laughs> you, sorry, you have chest hair, I meant to say. <laughs> you're gonna be a pretty hot looking dude here. And if you're a woman, honestly, a foreign woman come to China, you just have to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sum it up with that. And blonde hair is a little bonus feature. According to Chinese people, blonde hair is the most attractive in women. And uh, brown hair for men. Either way, I wanted to say thank you so much, Law Winners. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Plenty more to come. And uh, leave down in the comments below. Please write, what is your ideal man or woman down in the comments? We're curious to see what you have to say. Please press the like button so we can get this video shared out a little bit more. And if you want to see more, go on to patreon.com slash 86 for behind the scenes. And also go to her patron over here, also linked here. And she actually does kind of like a daily blog thing. It's pretty awesome stuff. So support us there and uh, subscribe. If you haven't, hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button. Thank you so much, Lawyers. I'll catch you on the next one. Nix. What's a nix? Nix.